car, but it's not Cherry. No, no, I can't go 4,000. 25 is as high as we go. All right, give me a buzz when you can, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you did it again, Miss. I know that look. George, you old son of a gun. Knock it off, Ned. I'm in no mood for one of your routines. Well, what happened last night, huh? Did you bomb out? Bomb out? What is that? I'm not on a bombing run. Oh, come on. You're a romanticist. You think you're gonna go out one night and wham! Love pops up and hits you in the kisser like a coconut cream pie. Well, forget it. It doesn't happen that way. Wonderful. Give me a lecture on lasting relationships. That's just what I need. Uh, you have to revise your taste in women. They're all the same. They all look like your ex-wife. You don't stand a chance. Where do you get this stuff? From you. From me? Yes, from you. Talking to you five days a week for the last two years. party, honey. It's kind of a punishment for people whose husbands and wives have left them. You gotta push down on that little catch. Got it? That's it. Oh, no. No, mm, oh, thanks. Go out again. I never go out. When did I go out? New Year. Hmm. This is May. Spring, you know? <sighs> How do I look? Never mind, I know. Donnie and Marie. Olivia Newton, John. I'll never make it in the real world. I look like a good sport. Yuck. What's he be getting in? I don't know. Maybe as late as 9.15. Put some cologne on, Mom. Good idea. See what have I got here. Uh, forever innocent. Why not? twice in one day. Don't worry about it. Hi, Danny. Hi, Jake. Hi, Mark. Oh, wow. You look good. Oh, thanks. Actually, this is a test. See if I can go to a party alone. 32 years old. I only ever went out with one man. Sick. Really sick. Mom! Just for a minute. When I was married, I never went out at all. And before that, I hadn't reached puberty. That's right. You were what? 17? 16. Secaucus, New Jersey. In a time warp, I felt like I was 103. Why don't you come with me? To tell you the truth, I am terrified to go there alone. <laughs> we could get somebody else to watch the kids. Oh, come along. Not, not me. I'm in full retreat. But you, have a blast. Bye, kids. Bye. Thanks. You're afraid of men. No, I'm not. I married one. You don't want to get close. Well, you've been deeply hurt. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, they always get red when I drink. Don't say another word. I understand. I felt the same way for a long time. Afraid to trust. Afraid to really let someone get near. Look how near you are. See that? Doesn't bother me. <laughs> that bothers me. Haha. <laughs> See, you're right. I'm terrified of men. Well, uh, hey, why don't, uh, why don't you talk to that lady over there, huh? Hostile, hostile. A little rejection in her attitude? Trust. Trust. Excuse me, I have to go to the ladies' room. And you're Millard. Millard. I'll go first, okay? Married nine years. I'm in RVs, uh, recreational vehicles. The little buses with the tiny beds. Betsy was very creative. She felt stifled by the marriage. How was I supposed to know she was suffocating? She never said a word. She had everything. I virtually killed myself trying to make her happy. But if that don't work out, then I say good riddance, you know what I mean? 
weird. Hmm. Suddenly, nothing seemed to suit her. So what else was I supposed to do? Your turn. Oh, uh, Jimmy Hobbies. Was that a joke? I'm spilling my guts out to you. I'm telling you deep, innermost secrets and things. And you want to know if I have a hobby? 